What's up guys, this is Yasa, welcome back to my channel, you're watching Yasa's Fit Frag and today I'm going to talk about another 5 authors from the brand My Perfume Secret. So in case you haven't watched my previous videos on My Perfume Secret, you can check out the links in the video description box. They have some really good blends. Most of them are not inspired versions which I really like about because these days there are so many different Indian brands which just run behind inspired version and sometimes it gets boring because one starts one inspired version then another brand starts the same inspired version so it gets boring after a certain point in time so this brand mainly focuses on their own blends and that's something which i like about so they have some really good blends as well which i have mentioned in my previous videos you can check those links out so today i'll be talking about five different releases from the same brand so coming in at number five okay so before I start just as a reminder if you do not remember how the presentation is this is how the 12 ml comes and this is how the 6 ml comes okay but they have slightly changed the presentation box of the 6 ml so it comes like this now previously it was a different presentation box this also has really good quality but yes it looks like a coffin so it looks like the perfume is dead and ready to go to the grave <laughs> okay so jokes apart but definitely the quality is good you get the roll ball here they send it with the dipstick so that it doesn't leak in transit. Now coming to the five different others or the perfume oils. At number five is Virtuous Oud. Now this is a very common blend that you see in the market but definitely performs really nice. So this is a typical saffron and sandalwood type of blended other that you generally see in the market. Of course they have maintained good quality and the quality is definitely good but it's just that the blending is a bit common to my nose. As in when it dries down you get that typical Arabian sort of amber there's mild rose there's a bit of vetiver and a nice cedar wood base the performance is beast mode three to four hours of evident projection and easily 12 plus hours on your skin so it's just that the blend is common to my nose because i keep trying a lot of fragrances so this is definitely a common blend but quality is definitely there and the performance is beast mode guys so in case you want to try something of that sort definitely check it out the 12 ml costs around 600 so definitely worth that price at number four is Taj Oud, okay? Now this is an easy to wear sort of Oud. The Oud here is not skanky or animalic. The Oud here comes only after four hours in a very mild way. So in case you do not like that skanky, powerful, hard hitting sort of Oud, then this is definitely that you can try because this is not hard hitting or heavy hitting at all. This is very smooth, some sort of easy to wear, I would say. Has that night nice saffron, lavender and vetiver opening and as and when it dries down, get amber, patchouli and musk. So overall, a very neat blend, has a nice airy projection for about 3 hours and still lasts about 12 hours. So like I said, those who do not like heavy heating sort of food but wants a mild, easy to wear sort of food, definitely check it out. That is Taj Oud, okay? At number 3 is another world addiction a very unique sort of naming which they usually follow you i've seen it in my previous videos as well now another world addiction is a typical citrus and woody sort of fragrance so the opening has citrus some sort of that birch spicy accord along with some cedar wood guayac wood sort of woody feel now as and when it dries down i get some vibes of tom ford oud wood sort of a dry down i wouldn't say it's exactly the same but it definitely has some dna to do with that Tom Ford Oud Wood sort of a dry down. So in case you like that kind of blend with some citrus and birch added, you can definitely try this one. This is very nice, especially for those who do not like the typical citrus fruity type of fragrance and want something that is citrus and woody sort of fragrance, not in the Oud way, but a very nice smooth woody feel, then definitely check it out. That is another world addiction. The 6ml costs 350 and 12ml costs 600 so not bad in terms of pricing the performance is also decent two hours of projection and eight hours of lasting in case i have missed to mention the price of taj oud taj oud costs around 780 for a 12 ml now the oud and must series comes only in 12 ml virtuous oud 12 ml costs around 600 now coming to number two is another from the musk series which is again of 12 ml and that is called taj musk this costs around 700 and it is definitely a musky fragrance which you will feel in the dry down the opening is a bit different it opens with citrus some bit of herbal feel within 10 to 15 minutes you get vibes of apple accord along with patchouli and vetiver in the mid and the dry down is totally to do with that beautiful musk note so Performance, I would say, is two hours of projection and six hours of lasting. But after four hours is when the musk 
starts kicking in and the musk node goes up to 10 hours evidently on my skin. Now, for some nose, the musk would not be evident at all because musk to some nose smells like a natural skin smell. So some people don't really pick it up. So in that way, you may or may not sense the smell up to 10 hours, but I did definitely get it for 10 hours on my skin and it was really nice in the dry down. I love this in the dry down more than the opening because the opening was citrus and herbal which is not my actual favorite but doesn't mean that it was smelling bad it did smell good but it's not my favorite but the musk after four eyes is what i was really impressed and that is why i'm placing it at number two okay taj musk if you like typical musky fragrance definitely check it out which is nice airy and smooth and very easy to like at number one now this is my favorite guys and it is called as morning blues again a very unique style of naming they have and this 6 ml costs around 350 and 12 ml costs around 600 okay this is actually the 12 ml i think i mm, said it incorrectly as uh, 6 ml both these are 12 ml now this has a very beautiful sparkling citrus along with some apple and blackcurrant and as and when it dries down let's say about 20 to 30 minutes you get that beautiful feel of magadaskar vanilla okay now this Magadaskar vanilla is not the typical sweet vanilla but it is more of a creamy vanilla which is not that sweet compared to the most sweet vanilla fragrances that you get and that's why I felt it is Magadaskar vanilla. I'm not really sure if it has vanilla as well but it definitely smells like that to my nose. In the late dry down which is after one and a half hour you get a beautiful musk and cedar wood. Now overall the blending is done very nice easy to like easy to get compliments as well if you have people around who is very open and friendly with you and doesn't mind complimenting you because indian culture definitely you will hardly find people who are comfortable complimenting your fragrances but in case you have that sort of circle you are bound to get a compliment because this is definitely very crowd pleasing sort of a blend and easy to like easy to love beautiful fragrance definitely check it out that is morning blues if you like fresh Citrus, the mild sweetness of that vanilla, which I said, definitely check it out. This is more of a versatile scent in my opinion, goes with the summer and in the winters as well. The performance is also decent, two hours of smooth projection and seven to eight hours of lasting. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you have tried any of these five from their new releases. Thanks for watching again. See you next time soon. Cheers.